Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and today I wanted to show you all a little introduction to responsive design in Breakdance Builder. Um, this tutorial is going to kind of be aimed at people that are somewhat new to web development or to responsive web development and just want to make sure that they follow good practices to create responsive websites for everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and we're going to start by adding some text to our page. So I'm going to go over the different types of responsive elements. If we go to our styling and typography, for font size, we have a few options. If you click right here, you know you can go ahead and adjust the text to, to do whatever you want. But if you click on pixels, you get all of these, these menus. So today we're going to be going over pixels, percentage, um, EM, REM, VW, and VH. Um, so this stands for vertical width, vertical height. Um, yeah, we're going to go through all of these. So let's start with pixels. If I change this font size to 16 pixels and say this text is... 16 pixels wide, whatever. Um, actually, let's change this to 64 because I'm going to show you a good example in a second. So this is 64 pixels, meaning no matter how big, how small, whatever users, phone, whatever you look at this on, you're getting text that is 64 pixels wide. Let's go ahead and duplicate this, and I'm going to change this to this text is 4 rem wide. And so now in here, I'm going to go and change this typography, change pixels to rem, and change rem to four. So you might be like, wait a minute, why is this the, the same thing? So we can save this page, <clears throat> head into the front end editor, and you can see these are the same size, even though one is pixels, one is rem, but you can see that they're, they're the same size on here. Um, if I go ahead and make this smaller, <clears throat> you can still see that it is the same size. So what is the difference between rem and pixels? So rem is gonna stand for the root element of what your text is set at your website. Um, not, I'm sorry, not on your website, on your computer, on your browser. So if we view this like we did on a phone, we saw that this was going to be the same text no matter what. Um, not a good visualization to use right now, but um, I can show you what I mean in a second. So no matter how big or small, this is going to stay the same um, set size, and then this is going to be based on the root element of your text, which in this case by default is actually 16, if you didn't figure that out, because 64 divided by 4 is 16, and I set this equal to 4 so that we can show this is pretty much going to look like the same thing. So a really interesting thing is like, so when does it actually differ? When are you going to need to, uh, you know, why would you use this? And that's because rem is set to 16 pixels by default. And so if a user changes this because they have a visual impairment and need to see bigger text or smaller text, um, that's where it's going to show. So let's go ahead and exit to our front end, and we can see that this is like this. But if we go ahead and click on the three little menu things in Chrome, we can go ahead and get to our appearance uh, section. And medium is going to be where we have a 16 pixel uh, root element set. But if we change this to very small, now we can see our text gets tiny, and if we go back here, 4 rem is actually a bit smaller than than uh, 64 pixels. We can also do the same thing in the other way and go to very large, and we can see that this is going to be a lot bigger. If we change this to view like mobile, you can see it's based on what the root element text is, which is going to be based in this example on what I set my Chrome size to. So yeah, that's all we're going to do for text. So if you use text, you want to make sure you're using rem most of the time. You can also use m, which m is going to be based on the parent element um, or w what is above it. But if you want rem, that's going to be kind of a standard based on everything. Um, so I use rem a lot. So now I'm going to go over pixels. And pixels are very interesting because they are going to be used for more of designing uh, responsive sections. So like if we have a div on our page, and we have everything is based on what is above it. So we have like a structure pane and we can see this is called the parent and this is the child. So section is the parent of div and anything in here is, or, or most things in here are kind of gonna be inherited into div. So it takes superiority over div. So if we go to div and we go to our container and let's say we set this width equal to 100. We are at a one, oops. <laughs> Um, we are at a 100 pixel set box. I can go ahead and change the background color just to show you what I mean. We are at a 100 pixel set box no matter what. So if we go ahead and hit the front end, oh, there's nothing in it, so I'm not going to be able to show you that. Um, but we are setting a, a fixed size of this element. So if I go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add these things into it, you can see it kind of gets crushed because 
the text is actually, it's actually coming out at some points because it can't even put in one word inside of it, but we have a 100 pixel uh, width of this box, which could be good for some things, <clears throat> but generally speaking, you're gonna wanna design, uh, style this responsively. And the way that we do that is in container, instead of pixels, we're gonna change this to percentage. And so percentage is gonna take up that container width based on whatever it is inside. So if this is the section width um, and, and the div can take up 100% of that, we do have some padding in the section by default, but we can see if we go ahead and go to, I believe it's in size, we change width to full, and then we go to spacing and we add zero padding on the left and zero padding on the right. Uh, this is just an example because of how breakdance sets up it sets up its sections by default. But if we go on the front end, we can see, boom, this takes 100% of the page. If you're on a phone, no matter what you're on, it's going to take 100% of this page. So that's where percentages come in. And the last two things that we're going to go over will be, um, I believe it's just VH and let me just check. Should be vertical height and vertical width. Yep. So we're going to go over both of these. And to do this, I'm going to delete our text and change the div now. <clears throat> so we do have some, actually, we'll do it inside of the section. So our section, we can set some background color just to see. And I will go ahead and add a heading. And so again, by default, we are going to have this padding that goes around, uh, I think it's 75 pixels by 75, just what Breakdance does automatically. But if I go ahead and change this padding to zero and zero, we can see this section only takes up what's inside of it. So if I duplicate this, we've got two of them. Um, yeah, so it's only going to take up what we do. But what if we want this section to take up the entire front page of your website? Well, we don't want to sit here and go to size, height, and change it to a specific number, 400 or 500, because that is terrible. And depending on what size of a user's device is really going to impact how that looks. But a really good thing to do is we can hit uh, actually viewport, which takes up the complete screen size. Or if we want to get technical, which this should be the same thing. If we go into custom and we change custom height, change this to VH, which is vertical height. And if we set each number that you put in here corresponds to a percentage of the page. So if we do 100 vertical height, we have something that takes up the entire height of the page. If we do 50, we're going to have something that takes up 50. And on a computer, it looks like this, but on a phone, it looks like this. Moreover, or while if we did something like pixels and we did 200, it looks like this, but on a phone, yeah, I mean, it's going to look like this, but the, the height changes depending on what kind of device you're on. So 500 pixels might look one way on here, but when you're on a phone, it could take up more space like that. So definitely a good idea to use um, a responsive thing like VH when you're doing design. Um, but if you were doing custom height for a website, in this example, you actually wouldn't want to set a custom height to 100 vertical height because this is going to be a, a static vertical height. And what if you have headings that continue to go like this and go off the page? Then you're going to have headings that go beyond the section, but we have a section that's set to only really take over um, here. So I believe if we add another heading down here that's outside. Let's add a, another section and add a heading to this. This is going to overlap because this is bleeding outside of the section, which this is the new section right here where you could just see this. It's kind of centered 75 pixels on both sides, but we have this heading that's kind of bleeding from our last element that we really don't want to deal with. And the way that we're going to fix this is by going back into custom height, deleting this and making a minimum height of 100 which means the minimum that this is going to take up will be the full screen, but if we do bleed, we have enough uh, slack to cover us. So that's a good way of doing it. Um, viewport, same thing. It's going to take up kind of just 100, but if you kind of want that neat little trick, minimum height says it's going to be at least this big, but if we have to get bigger, we could go ahead and do that. So that's pretty much a basic introduction to how all of these work. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I've also linked an article to our Gold Penguin um, blog, which is going to have this a little bit more in depth and explain it a little bit slower um, in text form if you want to take a look at that. So if this helped, please leave a like, um, leave a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you want more breakdance and any other web design content. Thanks.